Hey everybody, Lauren Summers here with Real Keeper Home Team EXP Realty and you are on our channel, Everything Jack's Real Estate. We are here today with another model home tour. We are back in Seabrook Village. If you haven't already, please go and check out the other model home tours that we have already done in Seabrook Village. There are some really cool houses out here. We also have some more coming your way over the next couple of weeks, so don't forget to check them out. We are here today with David Weekly at the Seahorse Model. This one is about 2,400 square feet this particular model that we're going to go check out is three bedrooms two and a half baths you do have the option to do four bedrooms in this one if you want as is it's starting at about 585.9 um, with this one here we're probably in the low to mid 700s before we go check it out though do me a favor if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel everything jacks real estate like this video and click on the bell so you can see more videos just like this one also, please stick around to the end of this video. We'll go over some of the incentives that David Weekly is offering. Let's go check it out. All right, guys, let's go check out the Seahorse by David Weekly. We are going in the front door. I love the elevation on this one with the um, kind of river stone looking thing on it. Um, I don't, still don't understand why it's called an elevation, but anytime that you change the outside of the front of a house, when you are building, you are going to pick an elevation with your builder. So just something to know. Right up here to our left is a little powder room or half bath. Kind of nice that it's stuck underneath the stairs. It's kind of a nice way to use the space. Right here is where your garage would be. So no attention to that. We're gonna go straight into the kitchen. We've got quartz countertops in here. We've got the two-tone cabinets. We've got white on the walls with the blue on the island, and then the really pretty tile backsplash that ties in with the island color. Stainless steel appliances. This is a gas community, so you've got a gas range here. Got your hood, which is gonna be venting to the outside. Lots of glass front cabinets in here, which are really, really pretty, which I really like. Um, these obviously being up higher, so if you're like me, you're gonna need a step stool for that. <laughs> lots of cabinets, lots of storage in here. You've got a double oven set up. One of these probably doubling as a microwave. Got a really cool pantry. They've done some really nice wood style floors in here, which are light and bright, which are really, really pretty. And I really like them. I'd love to know what you guys think about this, what you're seeing, what you'd like to see in houses right now as far as flooring goes. Got your dining room space really fun wall that they've done here. It's kind of a faux brick, really adds to it. So a focal point in here. And then a recessed um, ceiling in here, with some really pretty inlaid woods, kind of carry it over from the floor to the ceiling. Lots of big picture windows. You've got a nice little side patio here too, so you could open up this space um, in a model that had a little bit more room. You could probably add some seating out there as well. They've added a little bit of seating here, but kind of an extension of your kitchen if you were entertaining. You could open that up, kind of collapse those doors and have some space there. And we've got this little patio space, this indoor patio space right here. They've changed the flooring in here, so kind of a division of what, um, from one space to another, showing you that this is a separate space. They've done a really fun beam in here, and then this leads to outside. They've done a really cool concrete sitting area out here. You could put a fire pit out here. You could kind of do whatever you wanted out here but kind of a nice use of the space to be able to have this already, um, you know, kind of an entertainment extension of your house. And again, these sliding glass doors, the three collapse into one, so you can do a full extension of the indoor-outdoor feel. Just close that door. We've got our laundry room, which is kind of right off the master. Nice little built-in countertop in here. Storage space. If you have spent any time on Instagram or YouTube or any other um, social media, you know that um, making a pretty laundry room is a must these days. So we've got a master bedroom, really nice size. Again, really large windows. They've done a recessed ceiling in here, but what's really cool is they've carried over the flooring from the rest of the house into the master bedroom and made the um, focal wall in here that kind of wood. It's really cool. 
haven't seen that before. What are your thoughts on that? Do you like something like that? Do you like a focal point in a master bedroom? Would you rather make one your own? Got the master ensuite. Double vanity. Again, they've carried over the quartz from the kitchen and they've carried over the blue in the rest of this house and this really cool shower wall. Big tiles in here, got the rain head. And again, your, um, your on and off switch over here so you're not getting all wet trying to figure out how to get in your shower. Master closet. Fun fact, all of these clothes are from Sheen. <laughs> Anytime I see any of the clothes hanging in um, spaces in model home tours, it seems like they are all from Sheen. Just a little fun fact. So let's head upstairs. So the master on the first floor, which for resale is super important. Um, you know, you don't buy a house thinking that you're gonna sell it right away, but chances are you're gonna sell it at some point. So something to think about. Let's go up the stairs. David Weekly has done the wood on the stairs in here, which I think is really, really pretty. Again, this is one of those things where, you know, do you do it with your builder or do you do it later? And I always say do this one with the builder, chances are you're not gonna come back and do it later. So because it's the second story, we do have electrical in the floor up here. That is a requirement. Very cool loft area. And this little fun door, little Harry Potter type door, is just really cool storage. So, you know, no creeping into your attic or trying to get in through it through the garage and your pull down stairs. You do have space up here to get it like that. Again, nice and light and bright. Lots of open windows. We've got our bathroom up here. Large, I like that, the large white subway style tiles. What are y'all's thoughts on that? And then carrying in the very cool tile on the floor here. Let me know your thoughts on that. Leave a comment below. Bedroom two. Oh, that's cool. Check that out. Metal on the wall. Haven't seen that before. And then bedroom three. David Weekly does a very cool um, build and they're very proud of it as they should be. So you can see, you can come in here and see the insulation that they're doing, the hurricane um, high wind tie rods, which are important here in Jacksonville and um, Florida as a whole. Make sure that your roof is not blowing off in a hurricane. Also um, multi-year transferable warranties um, and some other information that kind of sets David Weekly apart. <laughs> Um, including, what would you rather spend your money on? A hot water heater or a handbag? I don't know, what do you guys think? What would you rather spend your money on? A hot water heater or a handbag? Leave a note in the comments below. And then some um, information on their high energy efficiency, which most homes that you're um, seeing built uh, today are gonna have quite a bit of efficiency, um, whether it's in the windows, uh, the insulation in the attic, um, the paper that they're putting in the attic as far as um, sudden restrictions and things of that nature. So, I'd love to know your thoughts on what you guys think of this David Wheatley home. Um, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for checking this one out. As you can see, I am sitting out here side in this very cool concrete sitting area, which is just ready for a fire pit. If you have any questions about this house or any other houses here in Seabrook Village, my contact information is below, or there's also a link for my calendar. Let's jump on a 15 minute Zoom call and find out if this house or any others here in Seabrook Village or any other new builds in St. Johns County are right for you and your family. And as promised, David Weekly is offering incentives right now. Now these are always subject to change, but right now, if you're starting from the ground up, they are offering $22,000 towards the Buyer Design Center. They're also offering a 2% of your closing costs if you're going with their preferred lender. If you're looking at their five move-in ready homes, again, five move-in ready homes as of when I'm making this video, always subject to change, they are offering a $25,000 price incentives to get you in the door. So, talk to you soon.